Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Xander, and today I am going to be talking to you all about how I'm planning for my backpacking trip. The first thing that you need to consider when making a backpacking trip is where do you want to go? So I made a bucket list of sort of countries that I've been interested in, and once I got them all on the piece of paper, I separated them into continents. So on there I had North America, South America, Europe, and Asia. And then the next thing I had to do was consider my budget. So after doing just a tiny little bit of research, Googling where's good to go traveling and where's expensive and where's not, I've kind of learned that, you know, North America, the States, and Canada is one of the more expensive places to go, as is Europe, especially Western Europe, and so is Australia and New Zealand. South America and Southeast Asia and Asia tend to be a little bit cheaper and more affordable for the sort of long-term traveling purposes. Now I went to Thailand a couple of years ago for a couple of weeks. I had a really really good time so going back to Southeast Asia and doing a few more countries and doing it a little bit more properly was quite high on the list for me and it's one of the cheaper places. And then I looked at the countries kind of within Southeast Asia that I'd been told about from friends who have gone travelling or seen on other travellers youtubers that I was really interested in and I kind of started to look for a logical route to choose. So loosely my kind of rough plan is Thailand, Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam and then Philippines and Indonesia. So then the next kind of thing you need to consider when you go to those places is do I need any vaccinations? Is there a malaria risk? So there's a website that I use and it is called yeah, so Fit for Travel. It's an NHS website, fitfortravel.nhs.uk. And basically what you can do on there is click on any country that you're going to. So for example, I'll click Thailand now. And it will tell you the general advice for all the destinations if you're going traveling. Immunizations, ones that are usually advised and some to consider on top of that. And also there will be a malaria map to see if you need to take any specific precautions for malaria over there and just general other health risks to consider. So I actually made an appointment at my local travel clinic and they went through every destination and this website for every destination with me and talked about which jabs I would need, which jabs I could have and what I needed to do to stay kind of healthy while I was out there. You're going to need to see if you can book this two to three months before you can leave because some courses of injections have to be done over the space of a month and some you need to have a month before you leave for it to be fully effective while you're out there. The next thing you need to look at is travel insurance. It is vitally important that you are protected when you are traveling, such that if you need to go to the hospital or see a doctor, you can get your travel insurance to pay for it. Because if you get seriously ill and wind up with a thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds worth of bill, that can get you into a lot of trouble and a lot of debt and you don't need that kind of hassle. It's something that's really, really important. Especially on top of that, if you're taking a lot of valuables such as myself, I'm gonna be taking my nice new camera, I'm gonna be taking my laptop so I can edit. So being able to ensure my items to make sure they're protected while I'm away, that's very important to me. The next thing I need to consider is when am I gonna go? All you have to do for this is just bear in mind any commitments that you've already made. Tie up loose ends. I've been traveling around the UK a bit recently saying goodbye to people who I'm not going to see for a while, visiting friends who I haven't visited. So that brings me to flights. At the minute I've just used Skyscanner to have a quick look at one-way flights to Thailand. So far I've managed to find quite a few reasonable prices and decent flight times and decent duration of the flight. Um, not too many layovers and not too long. So that's pretty easy, that's pretty straightforward. You also need to consider your entry requirements to the country. So is your passport valid and in date? Do you need a visa for that country before you go or can you get one there? And how long can you stay there for? So for Thailand, one of their entry requirements is that if you're entering on a tourist visa, which is 30 days long, you have to have proof of onward travel. Since I don't know kind of how my itinerary is gonna go, and how long I'm gonna be at each place and what place I wanna go to next because I'm planning on kind of just going with the flow while I'm out there. You can buy what's called a throwaway flight. So if you just have a really quick look at the cheapest flights that are flying out of Thailand from 30 days from the time that you get there, there are flights going to like Cambodia and Vietnam for about 20 pound. That you can use as a proof of onward travel. And then if you don't end up wanting that ticket, you can just throw it away. But it is something that you do have to have to show. Otherwise your airline can deny boarding. So I haven't actually 
done the flights yet and I haven't looked at first few nights accommodation and transfers to the accommodation or anything like that but these are all of the kind of planning processes I'm going through at the minute. I think I'll probably film a separate video when I've done all those things, talk about how much they cost and where I'm going and what's going to happen, how I'm getting ready, things that I'm going to pack, that sort of thing. But travel wise, that's where I am at the minute. I'm looking at travel insurance next and then I will book my flights. It's just actually doing it is a little bit scary so I'm just kind of Ooh, delaying and umming and ahhing at the minute. Thank you so much for watching this video. It's good to see you again. If you did like it, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. You can also like, comment, share, and please subscribe if you want to see more from me. I will see you again soon. <sighs> Goodbye.